Feel free to pause this video at any time if you need longer in any of the stretches. Lay your mat out flat, left leg straight in the air, grab behind your left thigh, calf, or ankle, whatever is comfortable for you, keeping that left leg straight as you can. Full lungs will allow the oxygen to go directly into each of your muscle groups that we're about to stretch. When you're ready, take your left ankle, cross it over your right knee, and press the left knee away from your body, opening up the hip. This is a hip stretch. Big deep breaths here to send the oxygen directly into your hips. When you're ready, grab behind your right thigh, pull it all into your chest. Big deep breath here, sending the oxygen into your glutes on the left side. When you're ready, send the left leg long. Right leg goes straight up in the air, keeping that right knee as straight as you can. Grabbing behind the right calf, ankle, or if you need more space, grab behind the right thigh. Cross the right ankle over the left knee and push the right knee away from your body, opening up the right hip. Big deep breaths will send blood, fluid, water, and oxygen into that ball and socket joint. And grab behind the left thigh, pulling it all up into the chest, stretching the glutes on the right side. The glutes are large muscles. They need a lot of oxygen to help them recover. And both hands on your shins, drawing the knees up towards the chest for a lower back stretch. Send the right leg long, hug the left knee into the chest. And supine twist over to the right. Take that right knee down all the way towards the floor, looking over the left shoulder. This is such a great stretch for the back. When you're ready, send the left leg long. Hug the right knee up into the chest. And supine twist over to the left, taking that knee down all the way to the floor, looking over your right shoulder. Roll up onto your mat and bring your forehead down to your knees. A nice hamstring stretch. Big breaths here. Roll on up and take your left leg straight out and reach up and over. Bring your forehead down towards your knee, but also keep your back very open. So we're stretching your hamstrings and your back here. And switch sides, reach up and over and try to find that spot where you really feel your back open up. That is where you need to stay and just keep stretching, keep reaching. From here, we'll go into a butterfly stretch. Your feet will face each other and you'll gently guide your knees down towards the floor, really opening up those inner thighs. Cross the right leg over the left and twist to the right, opening up your back. Take it to the opposite side, left over the right and twisting towards the left, opening up the back, trying to keep your chest up and open. Get ready to stand. Left leg goes forward and forehead goes down to the knee. Try to keep your left knee as straight as you can. Big deep breaths here. Hamstring stretch. And drop it down into a runner's lunge. Get nice and deep into this runner's lunge.
Walk the left foot behind the right hand and gently make your way down into pigeon pose. When you're ready, make your way up to the top and you're gonna switch, right leg goes forward, forehead goes down to that right knee. Try to keep the right knee as straight as you can to really stretch the right hamstrings. Get ready to drop it down into the runner's lunge. You're gonna feel the stretch in the left hip flexors on that left side. Big deep breaths here, get as low as you can. And walk the right foot behind the left hand and gracefully come down into pigeon pose. You may feel a difference between the left and right as far as flexibility. That's perfectly normal. To get more flexible, you simply need to practice. Get ready to walk it back to the top for a quad stretch. Grab the right foot, pull it up towards your back and keep the knees pretty close together. Your quads are large muscle groups. Remember, you need big breaths, sending the oxygen into the quads. And get ready to switch. Left leg goes up, big stretch, but all the way up towards your back. Take your feet wide, point your toes out 45 degrees and press your shoulder towards the floor, really twisting and pressing and getting deep. And switch the opposite side, press the other shoulder towards the floor, nice and deep. Your back is gonna feel amazing after this stretch. Make your way back to standing, cross the left arm across your body, opening up the shoulders on the left side. And switch, right arm across the body, opening up the shoulders on the right. Bring the right arm up and press the hand towards the nape of your neck, stretching the back of the right arm. Tricep stretch. Same thing, opposite side, left arm up and press towards the nape of the neck. It's important we remember with all the contracting that happens in strength training, we do the opposite, which is stretching. Take this time to take any other stretches you may need today. Remember to stretch after every workout, every week, and to always listen to your body.